What is going on, my divine, my fine feminine? It is Scorpion Reds back at it again with you to find out what is going on for the daily bread for February, Thursday, the 21st, and Friday, the 22nd of 2019. <laughs> I don't know why I cannot talk today. Y'all have no me idea how many times I restarted this video because I can't talk and I refuse I would not redo it again anyway I love you guys again this is for the energy for February Thursday the 21st and Friday the 22nd of 2019 I got it that time right okay I'm reloading boom let's keep it moving okay so if anyone would like to book a personal private reading you can do so by clicking that about tab on my YouTube page there's a hyperlink there that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me again it's Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me if you would like to give a donation to the page you can do so by clicking the PayPal description link in oh lord see there I go I can't talk what is what okay you can click the, the PayPal link in the description section I'm gonna keep it moving we, we gonna get through this. I'm sorry y'all listen listen y'all okay wanna give y'all one little quick little thing out there I did add in the life purpose deck into this reading. I don't know. My spirit was just me um, moving me to do it. I just wanted to, you know, give some insight in regards to life purpose and possible career um, as well as love in here. So, you know, I just want to give an overall insight for the divine feminine just to keep their mind on and just to keep their eyes on the prize and keep focused I also wanted to mention again I want to give a shout out to Olivia Love because um, I believe I shouted her out the first time I did this type anytime I do the just off of the top of the deck or the top of the bottom of the deck I always try to shout her out because that's where I got the idea from to kind of try to shorten my videos even though I already talk too damn much as, my, as it is so my videos already be long as hell so whatever but anyway at least they're not an hour let me get in. So I just wanted to shout out Olivia Love real quick for off the top of the deck type of thing right there. Um, that was her idea. So I just definitely want to shout her out. And y'all go check out her page too, as well as Spiritual OG and um, my Angelic Karma. I love those ladies. Um, let's get into the, the reading. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the Divine Feminine. Thank you for giving us that daily bread for Tuesday and today Wednesday when I'm trying to tell you not only did the ladies needed to hear that word Father God I needed to hear that word as well so thank you so much for all of that wonderful wonderful guidance we are here today Father God to get the daily bread for Thursday and Friday February the 21st and the 22nd Father, thank you so much for all of this wisdom. I really feel uplifted and in very good spirits. And I really do feel like the ladies are uplifted and in very good spirits. Um, I just took a deep exhale. And I really do feel like the ladies, their air passages is just open. Like they're just able to like really breathe. And I feel like they're taking in. They're just taking a lot in right now. They're just inhaling you know to just just the inhales and the exhales that's like very important to life it's like you and i feel like they're taking in positivity into their being and they're exhaling and it's, it's like they're just waiting for that exhale they're just waiting for that aha that's it moment or something like that i feel like the ladies are going through a period where they are, I mean, we already know that we're rebuilding, but I just feel like they are feeding their bodies with just very pure nutritional goodness. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like when they have that exhale moment, it's just going to be something that is just so beneficial and good to their life. And I feel like the Divine Feminine is really trying to feed not only their mind positivity. They're trying to protect their crown. But 
I feel like they're taking care of their bodies a lot. And I feel like that is making them feel natural. That is making them feel whole. That is making them feel good on the inside and outside. And um, I feel like the ladies are dressing up a little sexier. You know, and I, I just feel like the ladies are really just inhaling. You know, they're inhaling positive, nutritious, uh just good stuff. I just feel like they're being very good to themselves. And I thank you that we are in this, pla uh, this place now where we're really starting to take care of ourselves. And maybe that's what moved me to pull out that life purpose deck, Father God. And I thank you for moving me to get the best message for the ladies. And dear Lord, thank you for keeping us in this positive spirit. And we're just going to continue to move forward in this love and this light. And I thank you, dear Lord, for keeping the ladies in a positive energy and keeping them going because they're keeping me going. And you're keeping us all going and we give it all glory and thanks to God. So, Father, thank you so much for all of the messages from yesterday and the day before. And thank you for where we're standing right now and thank you for where we're going to be in the future. Thank you so much, Father God. Please give us guidance for uh, February Thursday, the 21st, and Friday, the 22nd of 2019. Thank you again, Father God, for all of the messages and the blessings in the past, present, and future. Listen, ladies, I did do a shuffle before I got on camera. I know, okay, something is telling me, show these people that you shuffle. So, <laughs> they won't be like, you ain't shuffle the cards. You ain't fake. You don't know what you talking about. She ain't real. My ladies know. My ladies know what the deal is. They know. Let me just give a quick shuffle. Thank you so much, God. Please give me guidance. Give it to Feminine for the daily bread for Thursday and Friday. 21st and 22nd. Thank you. I just feel like this is a long process going through all of these decks because I got like a lot of decks in here. With me, God, it's for the Divine Feminine for Friday, the 21st, for Thursday and Friday, the 21st and the 22nd of February. Thank you so much. Please give me guidance for the Divine Feminine. Thank you. Well, that was a good one to fall off on. Hey. Give me some four wands. Come on. Give me some love. Give me some love. Father God, please give me some guidance. What a good feminine. For Thursday and Friday. The 21st and 22nd. Thank you so much for all your messages. Your past, present, future. Thank you so much. Please give the divine feminine guidance in regards to their life purpose. Ooh, Thursday and Friday, February 21st and 22nd. Thank you so much, Father God. Ooh, thank you so much for all the messages and the blessings that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Please give the divine five feminine guidance for the 21st and the 22nd February thank you my divine my show fine <laughs> <Filling in. laughs> can you come on through the day ladies can I see them thumbs up in the comment section can I see some hearts <laughs> in the comment section how you did how you doing today, girls? <laughs> girls, how you doing? Girls, is we in here? Are we ready to take over the world, Pinky and Brain style? Can I see them thumbs up in the comment sections, my ladies? My ladies. Because I know my ladies, my headers is in the building. Let me see them thumbs up. Let me see them hearts. Let me see them. Let me see your heart shine out. Where's your energy with no chill? Come on through today, ladies. What we doing? 
the mask. All right. That love card. Ooh, the fairy of the green world, the natural world needs you. Girl, didn't I tell you you was being mean and green and lean with your body, girl? Didn't I? Didn't I? Did, did, did I not speak it up? Girl, you better be lean, mean, and green. And you coming out of that hibernation, you said, mm-mm. But it's somebody that you ain't keeping no open mind. Oh, and, and, ooh, and the oracle cards. Oh, oh, life purpose, the oracle card. Oh, oh, oh. Someone is like, it seems like this oracle card guidance is just hitting its spot on for you. And it's really been helping you get the insight to get to where you need to be. And if that's where you are truly getting the guidance and you're getting the help that you really need to get the insight to make the movements and the positive progressions in your life, you do where you go where your heart is leading you. And I also feel like there are certain people in the group that are curious and may want to uh, partake in learning tarot their self. So if that is where you are being moved to do, go where your heart follows you, my dear. Go where your heart follows you, my dear. Sensitivity. All right. All right, girl. You said I ain't trying to be sensitive no more. I ain't trying to be out here in the streets looking like that. Hold on. Girl. Since you... Ooh, girl. Girl, it is your world. Girl, it is your world. Okay. So let's get into Miss Thursday, girlfriend. Let's get into Miss Thursday. So right off the bat, we got a mask, okay? So this is what I am getting. I feel like some of you guys have met someone because clearly we got love right here. And y'all is skipping off into the light with no fright, okay? <laughs> Y'all is y'all is y'all is skipping away, showing somebody your backside, saying I am skipping off into the night with no fright, and I'm telling my past good night. Okay, girl, you done found you somebody different, cause isn't this what we said that you was going to be finding this whole time? Somebody a little different than what you used to. Okay, somebody a little bit different. Than what you used to. And it's okay. Because this one know how to love you. The correct way. And it looks like y'all are skipping off. Into the sunshine. So what spirit is trying to tell you. What God is trying to tell you right now. Is do not wear a mask. Do not wear a mask. I feel like. Some of you guys are trying. To be too perfect. Too perfect. Because. You just don't want anything to go bad because you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. And I feel like some of you guys are, I don't want to say being fake, but being fake. Yeah, y'all are being fake. And what Spirit is trying to tell you right now is to be more natural. Be more natural. Be yourself. Don't go into no situations trying to keep up a charade you might not be able to keep up with because eventually that true personality is going to come out and they're going to be like hold on what happened to this real prissy sedity bitch that um and you hoodie shit okay be sitting in your house drinking tequila like me okay <laughs> with your steak dinner and potatoes watch a little hip hop talking shit with your girlfriends girl you be liking to do hood rat shit on your, with your hood rat friends on Monday it's okay girl it is okay, girl. It is your world. Don't be wearing no mask for this man. Be who you are. Let somebody love who you are. Don't change who you are for nobody. Nobody. And that's the thing. That's the thing. This person, you ain't got to do all that. This is your soulmate. This is, you know, this is a situation where you were truly having that exhale moment. 
Like, this is that exhale moment. Like, you are truly, I want to say, like, celebrating and being celebrated. I, I feel a lot of good times, a lot of light energy. Like, y'all, when y'all are together, y'all are literally, like, skipping off into the sunset with each other. Like, you guys love each other's differences. I feel... Someone likes to play in someone's hair a lot. Like, someone likes to play in someone's hair. Like, your man likes to play in your hair or something. And, you know, black women, they don't be letting nobody play in their damn hair, honey. They don't be letting nobody play. But you be letting this one play in your damn hair, honey. You be letting this man see you with your wig off. He be seeing you with your damn wig off. You like, hold on, I can take my wig off with this one. Girl, you can take your wig off. This the one. Daniel son. He He's the one, Daniel son. Don't, you ain't got to wear the mask with him. You don't have to be perfect. You ain't got to worry about wearing makeup all the time. You don't have to worry about your hair being perfect all the time. I feel like when this man calls you on FaceTime, you be running around like, oh, hold on, my, I got my, got my uh, bonnet on. Girl, answer the phone with your bonnet on with no makeup on. Let him see you. Just be you. And, like, I'm not saying it like it's you being fake in literally any other way but that I, I i feel like like that's the level of fake that we're talking about here like just be you be natural let this person see you you know you can talk to him on facetime with your little wife be doing with no bra like he can see a little saggy said he's like fuck it he gonna see he gonna see him when he suck on him i ain't mean shit i don't mean to be that graphic with you but shit like love yourself love on yourself and you know what that's the thing like, that is, like, girl, you have been truly treating yourself so good. You are, girl, you look good and you probably taste good, too. Pineapples, girl, come on now. You been eating your pineapples, girl. You been, girl, go, girl. Mm -hmm. You be waking up, okay, eating your little fruity parfait. Parfait's bomb and shit, ain't it? And you be having an extra fruit salad on the side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, girl. Let me say you something, girl. It's it's time you've made your mind up, honey. You have met someone. You've learned everything you need to learn from that past. Girl, you is like, it's time to get out here and show my ass, honey. I am clear and with no fear. Okay? I'm about to get out here. And enjoy myself. I'm going to get out here and enjoy myself. But. I feel like. In regards to love. You guys are still not comfortable about certain things. And you are still. Not that open to keeping an eye out. Like you are just keeping an eye out. You're not. 100% ready that you're ready for love yet and like i said i don't feel like you guys have been finding anybody that you're attracted to but you got this little weird one here that y'all been talking to okay and you're not quite sure if you 100 percent sure about him yet so i feel like you guys have been talking to other people as well or you're willing to talk to other people if they bite but I don't feel like a whole bunch of people been bite, biting right now. And you don't want to be stuck with this weird one. Because you do feel like you just like this one is just hella different. And you just like, man, I just want my thug. I just want my regular little rough neck. I want my little tatted up, tat, tat, tatted up, tat. You you know, you just, you want, you want, you want that. And this one is just a little different. He's kind of square. He, he just different. You know? He don't come in your house and leave weed paraphernalia and shit in your house and a whole bunch of motherfucking Hennessy bottles and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't lazy. Like, he'll wash the... Girl. This is the one that will come when y'all get to that level of comfortability. Will come to your house, cook you dinner, and then go wash the dishes. And girl... And then go wash the dishes. Stop being so hard on this one because he's different, girl. Daniel's son is the one. You ain't got to wear no mask with him. 
with them other niggas, you got to be fake. Girl, don't do it. Don't do it. And let me read this. The Fairy of the Green Natural World. And I told y'all, I be trying to keep these uh, videos short. It be long because I talk too damn much. I'm sorry, y'all. Listen. Listen. It, just, it, it, it be what it be. It be what it be. Let me tell you about your little pretty green ass. Girl, you been eating all your Wheaties. You been eating. You been waking up eating your Wheaties, girl. Yes, girl, with your fruit salad. With your fruit salad, girl. Let me tell you how you be taking care of your body. It says, this little green fairy signifies and embodies the life force of the green world. Come on now. She is seen tending to pants. Oh, she is seen tending to pants. <laughs> And then when y'all see the next words, honey, I was about to say, she is seen tending to pants that are drooping. Child! <laughs> Girl, you better not be tending to pants that is drooping. Girl, you better not. Unless they hold in the night. Hold on. What Drake said? Well, hold on. What Drake said? He be giving out 10 pieces for him? <laughs> Unless you getting some Drake. Just a little ten piece for him, just to throw him in the mall, just to see it take a ball. I just what I just I just butcher his whole song, Lord Jesus. Just another ten piece for him. I, okay. So she so she not tended to no pants that be drooping. Okay, let me start this over because y'all know I be dealing with third grade education for sometimes. I don't know where it be coming from. I act like I ain't graduated, but it's okay. Let me start this over. This little green fairy signifies and embodies the life force of the green world. She is seen tending to plants, 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 <laughs> plants that are drooping, too moist or too dry. Child, that sentence would have been too hilarious. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me. <laughs> that is funny as hell. <laughs> she is sent. Seen tending to pants that are drooping, too moist to too dry, bitch. <laughs> Girl, okay. She is seen tending to plants that are drooping, too moist or too dry. She is like a nurse or a healer assigned to the plant realm, green forces, and the small personal gardens alike. She is joyful every time someone gives energy to this realm. I just want to laugh. Jesus, help me. Every little bit helps nurture the plants, which are very tired. Fewer and fewer plants and trees and forests are expected to provide more and more life giving oxygen for animals, elements, and as humans. Sometimes she becomes overwhelmed with all the humans have done to the green world. Yeah, I mean, we have fewer and fewer plants out here to give us the oxygen because we've done too much to the world. So she may be about to ask for your help. When you give her help, blessings are returned to you threefold. Okay, girl, what's she about to ask you to do, girlfriend? Since the fairy of the green world speaks, the green world is changing. I'm asking for your help. The world needs you and the world needs you to tend to green things in it in some way right now. And it is your time to make a contribution. The world needs you to tend to the green things in the world in some way right now. And it's time for you to make a contribution. Time to plant a garden, assist with others, assist others with their, or share some food, flowers, or herbs from your own. Develop your connection with solar energy. Find your own water source or deepen or depend less on supermarkets, ATMs, and electricity. Learn to live with her, the soul of the green world. By providing the world with this beautiful example, you are nourishing and nurturing our Mother Earth who feels so tired sometimes. Find a forest or a grove of trees or a fairy ring of mushrooms somewhere in, that speaks to your soul and sit with her for a while. When she breathes her messages through you, the leaves and 
whispers of the world and the and, and it whispers the wisdom into your ears and you will know the right place to devote this sacred time and devotion and to give your energy. I thank you in advance. The fairies will be sure to help you in return. The true message, take time to grow plants and tend to a vegetable patch or herb garden. Look into contributing some money or devotion to a cause for the green world. The natural forces and the wide green spaces of the planet that need healing, kind, and attending hand and heart right now. Your influence will have power. Make a donation to a wildlife foundation for the green world. And say, look into establishing a grove or visiting the forest and offering your energetic support and prayers to for a world where green spaces thrive and where wild creatures and green woods continue to live in their own environment. See and visualize a world where green things grow and the fairy of the green world will know that nature is safe while there are ones like you in this world. It is time for growth and abundance for the earth's elements to find a true way and a strong way to a beautiful life. Eat organic foods, go raw, detox, find a water source and clean it. Be more self-sustaining. Step away from unnatural systems and join the world with natural energies of the planets and the galaxy. I told y'all y'all was out there eating a whole bunch of goddamn salads and goddamn fruit in the fruit bars and shit and making fucking rolled oak granola goddamn sandwiches and I don't know shit. I don't eat that girl. Goddamn beets salad. Oh, beets is nasty. How y'all eat that? Oh! Okay, look, let me step away. Let me step away from the beats. Let me step away from the beats, bitch. Because, you know, that's about to, I was about to have a moment. I can't do it. But listen, y'all be yourself. Just be like, look, nigga. I ain't, look, can we just. Look, I ain't even about to wear this mask for you right now. I'm going to change my diet. I've been out here farting like shit. So, excuse me. That was me in the car. <laughs> Why do I feel like somebody had a moment like they done changed their diet and, and they stomach bit all fucked up because they done went on this like extreme vegan ass diet but they like the way they feel. Like it's like they really like the way that they feel going raw and like they feel lighter. They feel lighter and they, they, they their body feels a lot free. You know? But it's just messed their stomach up. And I feel like slightly like you wanted to go out on a date. But your stomach been so fucked up because you done went green. Anyway, listen. Don't wear this mask. Be real with this person. Tell this person about all these wonderful different changes in your life and stuff like that. And I feel like y'all can connect in that way. And mentally, you know who you are. Come on out. Yeah, come on out. Be who you are. And just like it said... You are changing your life and you are treating your body different. Continue that method of treating your body good. Continue to do that because it looks like the universe and God is recognizing it. I mean, I literally said something about it in a prayer. And then for that card to, to pop out, that is literally, I mean, that's blowing my mind. And like I said, um, I don't feel like you're keeping an open mind to this person like that. I feel like you like this person's energy and you enjoy this person's company. But you're not keeping an open mind for this person because you don't feel like he's the one. And you want someone that just has that, mm, just has that, just to come around. Because you don't see it there. But I feel like this one that you've been, this one here that's different that you've been hanging out with a lot and you've been getting to know and... You know, I feel like this is your soulmate. You just feel like y'all just been celebrating and having a good time. And, you know, y'all just been rejoicing. And you guys just have amazing energy with each other. But I feel like it's something a little bit more than that. This person gives you peace. You see that dove right there? This person gives you peace. This person gives you peace and, it's, and you're walking into the sunlight. This person is helping you walk away from something. And you have a lot of fruit above your head. I feel like this person kind of feeds your soul. And like right now you're, you're worried about feeding your soul 
something enriching it, something healthy, something green. This looks like green, you know? <laughs> it looks like a grape salad to me. Um, like I said, you've been really studying the oracles. I feel like you guys are interested not only in... I feel like you're... You changing your your habits with your body. I think it's like a whole full thing. I feel like you've been studying the universe. You've been studying having a pure body, mind and soul. You've already been looking at tarot for insight. I feel like you're starting to pick up and study tarot yourself because you're starting to learn the cards. When you be watching these reading these readings, you already know what the meanings for certain cards mean. So you guys have been studying. It says you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others with oracle cards. I feel like when you speak to people, you kind of be speaking to people in tarot. <laughs> so like you be talking to people and, and you be like, oh yeah, like yeah, that's a tower moment because this, this, and that, or blah, say blah, blah, like, and oh yeah, that's a total star card moment. Like you're um trying to replenish your faith and you're coming to the to 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 God naked right now and you're just like totally giving yourself to the universe. And people be like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Anyway, let's get it for Friday, okay? So we got the family in reverse. All right, now. We got somebody blindfolded being bound by this eight of goddamn swords. Come on now, girl. We got the sewer maid. What does this say? Your sensitivity is beautiful. Ooh, girl, hold on. You better be. Oop. 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 This a water sign. What's a water sign, girl? Ooh, look, look. Are you a Scorpio looking bad, badass girl? Mary Jane. Mm -mm. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody done pissed you off. Somebody who done pissed you off, girl. Come on now. Come on. Something something got to do with your family and you being blind to something. You are being blind to something. And right now, I feel like you, you you feel like your pussy is popping. Your pussy is popping right now, but I feel like certain people got you fucked up because you're not really being sensitive to something. And you're feeling like it's, yeah, okay. So I feel like in regards to a situation with y'all's family, um, especially for the young ladies that um, have left the situation where it was your ex is a husband, was your ex-husband, you're now your ex-husband, and you guys have, y'all have kids. And things have been upside down because of the separation. And I feel like this might be your ex-husband's weekend to pick up the kids because here again, this is Friday. And I honestly feel this person is going, I feel like every time, ever since you guys have separated. When it's this person's time to be responsible and get the kids for the weekend, it's a problem every fucking week. And you make plans and you want to get out and date and you want to get out and have a nice time. Clearly, as you can see up here, you, you ain't trying to hide, a, hide yourself no more. You trying to take that mask off. You trying to get the fuck out and it's, it, you want to get out. You done, been, you, you done kept yourself secluded. You done retreated. You done been keeping yourself inside with that four of uh, swords. Um, with that four of swords. You done reversed it. You ready to come out. But this bitch ass motherfucker. Every time when it comes time for this person to be responsible for the kids. This bitch want to act like a fucking asshole. And it's like, no, I'm not going to keep making an excuse for you with the kids no more. I'm not going to keep being blinded to this shit. I know exactly what you're trying to do. You're trying to sabotage my new beginnings. At first, it was like, you know what? I really didn't want to look at it that way because I just want us to try to get along. I really don't want to be arguing, especially in front of the kids. Like, they've had enough of that. I really don't want to do all of that right now. But it's like, bitch, motherfucker, I, you know, like, how much can I do? How much can I do? Like, I have literally willingly kept myself, like, held down by the situation mentally because I just don't want to have it going on in front of my kids. Like, I really I really just don't. 
And I feel like the divine, I feel like the divine feminine in this energy, especially on Friday, I feel like you are in this, this sewer may card. I haven't read this card yet, but I'm going to see what it says. But what I'm honestly getting right here from this sewer may is like your fires and your, your juices is sizzling like. You are in this moment of sensuality. You're feeling sexy. You're feeling vivacious. You're really feeling like a little tantalizing vixen right now. And you want to go and have fun. But this person, I, you see her face? It's like kind of someone kind of pissing you off a little bit because... I feel like this person is getting in your way. And it's like you are finally in your moment where you're ready to get out there and do your thing. And you feel like people are just blocking you. And that shit pissed you the fuck off. Because now they got you in this Queen of Wands energy. And that is not like that. No one ever. Don't nobody ever want to deal with a female in no Queen of Wands energy, honey. Because she will make your life a little fucking hell. You talking about a mean bitch. You ain't seen a mean bitch. I mean cussing you out. Damn near. Might fly across the table. And knock your ass over the, your head with a wooden spoon. She might crack you now. She might crack you. She might crack you. Because she is trying to go out here. Like I told you. She got a date. She is trying to enjoy this blissful honeymoon period with this person that she's trying to get to know right now and you're blocking you're blocking and it's like <clears throat> I can't be sensitive to this shit anymore because I'm tired of holding back my feelings on this and in regards to the mask from Thursday you might need to in this energy, you might need to not wear a mask in this energy too. Stop holding back your feelings and really address and tell this person off and let it be what it be. Because I feel like y'all look like, look, you don't want to get the kids. It's like you trying to spite me or hurting our children. And I'm tired of being, you know, I, I, I've been blind to this. Because I didn't want to look at it that way. Because I'm not trying to argue with you. I can't act like I don't see this anymore. I can't continue. I can't. I can't. Because you about to get. You about to get it. Because this shit ain't. I draw my line. I draw the line with my fucking kids. It's one thing, I can keep a blind eye, you know, even though I know what you're doing, but I'm allowing you to stifle me being able to go out and have a good time, you know, because really, as long as my kids get to be with their father and my kids are able to have a normal life. If I don't have to go out just to appease you, I'll do it. But now I'm, I'm now you're drawing the. I have to draw the line because now it's starting to affect them. Because now you fucking me up by fucking them up. That I can't do. I can't do that. And for the ladies that are trying to be blind to this situation, I mean, not trying to be blind to the situation. I don't feel like some of y'all are really trying to look at it and really pay attention to the fact that that's what he's doing. But this fucking weekend, y'all are going to see it. This, this fucking weekend, because this person is going to piss you off. Because you had a whole little rendezvous plan. You really did. And it's, and it's like, I can't. The sensitivity is gone. The being nice is gone. You going to blow your motherfucking ass off. You go, I'm about to blow this boy's ass off. You about to blow this boy's ass off. Yeah. Because this person been keep, this person is trying to keep you trapped and bound. And trying to keep you in a position where you mentally feel like 
you're stuck and you can't go nowhere and you can't do anything because all you can do and be is be a single mom with no life stuck in the house and that ain't what about to happen mm -mm. let's read this 25 I'm about to blow this boy's ass off. Let's see what this young sight. Miss Sue made girl. Girl, what you looking like? Girl, little, little mean self girl. What you talking about? It said, when the sewer maid swims in, she's here to remind you of the treasures that you have that you have that you may have labeled bad. Or perhaps even pushed away and forced underneath. We oft we often have negative thoughts. That we too, that we're too short, we're too tall, our thighs are too large, our breasts are too small, our hair is not right, our face is not pretty enough. We speak to ourselves in negative ways and we begin to feel that we are not good enough. When this takes place, the result can be that we begin to create negative experiences, blockages, and difficulties. We push people away rather than attract them. We hide for fear of what others may see might not be good enough. But this is a mermaid of hidden... Hold on. But this mermaid of the hidden space is here to show you that your dark thoughts have told you lies and that you have great beauty you are your own self and you are perfect whole and complete the sewer maid says that you may try to push her away and refuse to believe that you were beautiful but when you are ready she will swim to you and free you from that harmful negative thoughts and experiences and all of that sewage you will begin to believe that no matter what, you are a beautiful being, healthy and, and attractive and someone who deserves love, respect, and affection. The sewer maid speaks. I am here to show you how to believe in yourself, that you are attractive, beautiful, and worthy of love and respect. I will show you how to see your body as a place of health, delight, strength. And that I will never die or go away. No matter what you've been told. No matter what you have told yourself. No matter what the society have told you. Let's clean up your physical and mental acts. Okay? Let's love all aspects of the physical life. Let's not criticize and hate ourselves. No matter our size, our shapes of our differences. We are all unique expressions of the divine. And the truth is most certainly applies to you let's not uh, be ashamed anymore let us celebrate who we are and learn to love our differences and be grateful for everything that we are and that we will be the true message part of you that is natural and beauty most likely your body and your appearances has been influenced by thoughts and ideas about being unworthy, unhealthy, or perhaps even dirty. So, a part of you has evolved and exists in, wait, a part of you that has evolved and exists in a less healthier way. It is time for you to clean up your act. Not of your natural looks, but of the way you think about yourself and have always thought about yourself. Something beautiful has to, has been treated badly. It is now up to you to begin to reframe the ideas and thoughts. Therefore, your experiences of yourself, your body, your worth, your ability to attract others and to be seen and to see yourself as worthy and to have love, respect and to and for others to show you consideration. Let this strong survivor mermaid show you how to love yourself and appreciate again and rise above the rubbish and stink of the negative conditioning regarding your beautiful body and unique self. You are beautiful and very self worthy of love. This is the only truth that must be told at this time. Yes. So, like I said, I believe that you ladies, you have really stepped into 
y'all have stepped into y'all shit. Like, I, I, I mean, in a level, like, when it says your sensuality is beautiful, you are really looking in yourself in a different way. You have stepped into your element. You were really ready to get out there and enjoy yourself. You really are. I fit in the, and I told you the day before, you know, one year, a few of y'all, some of y'all haven't met someone yet. And it's not that y'all haven't met people. I feel like y'all have been rejecting people because you're not attracted to them, which is cool. Don't talk to someone. Don't force yourself to like someone that you really don't like. But at the same time, y'all have a friend that y'all are pretty cool with. That y'all like hanging out with and y'all enjoy each other's company. I mean, this person is just a little bit different. This person is just a little bit different. And, you know, you have been attracting people and you have been changing your mindset. And there are a few of you that um still have that lingering mindset, but that's not what I'm getting right here in this spread. I'm getting right here in this spread that... You know that you are that bitch. Like this mermaid, this sewer maid has came to visit you already. And you're in your moment. Like you are in your moment. And you're mad because this person is getting in the way of your moment. And don't allow this person to get in the way of your moment. Check this person and let this bitch know. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Okay, because you always thought that I was going to be like this, that I was going to be this person of a lack mentality and not knowing my self-worth and not having a high dignity and a positive mind frame about who I am and that I can attract love and that I'm worthy of love and number one, that I love myself and that my relationship with the divine creator is strong enough that he'll help me through anything and that I'm good this person really thought that you were in this level of lack and of low self-esteem still and that they can continue to try to manipulate situations and use your family against you to keep you bound and you need to check this motherfucker Cause guess what? You ain't gotta watch my kids, bitch. I'll call my mother. Bye. I'ma cuss your fucking ass out out the door. Okay? So bitch, guess what? You don't wanna see your kids. I'ma make sure you don't see your kids for yeah. You gonna sit on it for a smooth ass motherfucking month, bitch. Cause guess what? You're not gonna stop me from going out and enjoying my fucking rendezvous, my vacation, my holiday, or whatever it is. Y'all, you and your little friend was going out for the weekend, y'all was going somewhere. You ain't about to stop me doing what the fuck I'm doing at all. And I'm not sensitive to your feelings. I don't give a fuck because this person is mad. And now this person talking to shit. You better not have this motherfucker around my kids. You better not have nobody around my kids. I don't, bitch. Don't be trying to use that bullshit as no try as as nothing to try to run no game on me. I don't. Mind your business. I don't care about what you feel. You guys are no longer sensitive because I feel like before y'all used to kiss this person's ass. Are you going to take the kids? And, and and if the person wasn't trying, and if your baby father or your your ex husband ain't trying to take the kids, like you had to kiss this person's ass. Just to take your kids so that you can do shit and get shit done. You're not being controlled by that now. You're calling your sisters. You're calling your best friends. You got co-workers that y'all kids play with each other. Now you're starting to get smart and you're starting to call your co-workers. You are not allowing this motherfucker to work you no more. And bravo for you, baby. Come on now. Spirit fingers. Girl. Y'all better show out this motherfucker weekend. Told this bitch, uh-uh, back up. Back the fuck up. Stop playing with me. Stop playing. Anyway, I love y'all. I hope it, I hope that y'all like the way that I'm doing things now. And I clearly see that I still run my mouth too much and the videos are not shorter, so whatever. Anyway, I love y'all. I will see y'all for the weekend spread. Bye.